Wouldn't it be nice if all there was to a building was a floor, four walls, and a roof? Unfortunately, most people want those little extras, like doors and windows. That's what this section's all about. Door and window openings can easily be installed by placing a buck within the wall. Buck sizing will depend on the rough opening dimensions provided by the door or window manufacturer. Using the marks you made on the footings as a guide, mark the forms and cut the sills with either a reciprocating saw, a table saw, or a pruning saw. A note to designers, if you dimension the vertical height of windows and doors as a multiple of 16 and 3 quarter inches, you will greatly reduce the amount of labor needed to install openings. In an ARCS building, the two most common ways of framing door and window openings are traditional lumber framing and the ARCS proprietary vinyl buck system. We'll start with lumber framing. Here is a standard window buck. Notice that while the top and sides are constructed of 2 by 12 lumber, the bottom is made of 2 by 4s. The resulting slot allows for proper placement and consolidation of the concrete. When installing window and door bucks, you need to make sure that they stay aligned with the form units in the wall. One method is to run a piece of fiberglass tape horizontally around the open end of each form when there are more than three foam bars extending past the last web. Repeat the procedure once the buck is in place to keep it from moving. A second method is to fasten one by four strapping to the facings of each frame on each side of the wall after the bucks are installed. If wooden bucks are to stay in place, you have to secure them to the concrete. You do this by driving framing nails into the back of the buck or by attaching an appropriate anchoring system as per local code. When you install the course of forms above a wooden buck, remember to leave a gap over the buck equal to 1 16th inch for every horizontal joint spanned vertically by the buck. The reason for this is that the forms will settle slightly when the concrete is placed. As an example, four horizontal seams would indicate a gap of one quarter inch. As a last step, install cross bracing on each buck to help it resist the concrete pressure. The other way of framing doors and windows is to use the ARCS vinyl buck system. Vinyl buck eliminates the shrinkage, air infiltration, and cupping that commonly occur with wood members. Start by preparing an opening that allows for the rough opening dimension plus the thickness of the vinyl buck. Install a vinyl header, one inch longer than the rough opening dimension. Now place the vertical jams and secure the header with one inch fiberglass tape running around each of the webs above the jam and tape the jams to each course of forms. As with wood bucks, vinyl bucks need temporary support to carry the load of the fluid concrete. Install cross bracing as outlined in your ARCS product manual. One of the advantages of vinyl bucks is that they can be configured to almost any desired shape. The arch window you see here was formed from short vinyl buck sections which were taped in place and supported with appropriate framing to maintain the arch shape during concrete placement. The, uh, the other issue that we like with the plastic bucking system is not only the speed and the efficiency of it, but we feel we have a superior uh, opening that is plastic and not susceptible to uh, uh, rot and uh, damage like uh, other bucking materials that we might put in in a, in a foam form system. Sometimes buildings have special requirements with regard to wall openings. In this industrial building, the designer has specified metal frame doors and windows. The other thing you have to plan for with doors and windows is lintel reinforcement. Lintels have special requirements for rebar and stirrups. The amount of reinforcement depends on six factors. The opening width, the depth of the lintel, the concrete strength, the superimposed load, the width of the concrete, and point loads. 
Your ARCS product manual contains tables and specifications that tell you how to apply these variables to determine reinforcement requirements. In addition to rebar and stirrups, we recommend you install a course of block lock in the first or second course over openings to make wall alignment easier later on. Before we conclude this section, let's just review some of the key points we've just covered. Door and window bucks usually are made either of lumber or vinyl. Use the rough opening dimension as a guide for sizing. Use tape or wood strapping for additional support where the forms have been cut around openings. Allow 1 16th inch per joint space above wood bucks. Install lintel reinforcement as specified. Install sufficient cross bracing. One final note before we move on. There are many variations on the basic door and window buck configurations. See your ARCS product manual for other options. When we come back, we'll look at wall alignment and service penetrations. I'm really impressed with the ARCS alignment system for their walls. Because as a designer, when I go out and look at the finished product or as it's being built, those nice true straight walls are very important to, to myself as well as my client. 